them. Are you yeah. comfortable with putting subtitles on all the way through? Well, I, I mean, yeah, but then I have to know what's been said, haven't I? Which, uh, that's going to be the hard bit. It? I just have to, I'll put, make it up. Let's just, we'll just make why, it up. Why are you putting subtitles on? Is my northern accent too much? What was that? Yeah. I, f- I, f- I feel, I, f- I feel... I feel outcast. <laughs> so, Chris, Chris, are we are we putting this on? Are we going to put this on Podbean as well? This one? Uh, yeah, we'll okay, put this on Podbean. So, for those of you that are listening on Spotify and iTunes, and you can't see the glorious faces that are in front of you on the screen, um, we are joined by the illustrious. Where did the name come from? Chat to Master Valrak. Where did that I'll come be completely from? honest with you. Right, I was sat in my living room, and I was like, "What sounds cool?" And I said, like... You picked Valrak. <laughs> I was like, listen, right? So I was like, chat to Master. And I was like, Valkyr, Valnor. I was like, Valrak? Because I don't care. That's Valium. Yeah, chapter yeah. Masters are cool, aren't they? Yeah. They're like... That's it. Big administrators, aren't they? They're like the big... I was, that's what I mean. I was like, if I'm going to go in, I'm going in at the top. I'm standing yeah. at the bottom. You know what I mean? It's just so, been yeah. fucking Primark. Primark yeah. Valrak. There we go. Custodian Guardian Valrak. Anyway, we need to start again, Liam, because I was going to do my bit where I where I pretended uh, where I got his name wrong. So this, yeah, do you want to oh, introduce him now? Oh, so it's all fake. This okay? That's right. what I thought. No, Let's no, start this, the podcast. Nothing's real. Again. This will probably, this will probably uh, stay in. This will probably all stay in. Sounds good. Oh, this stays no, in. We don't. Yeah, we don't edit it. So anyway, it. hey, it's the else. fucking ECP. Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Chris. You know who I am. Then we've got uh, there's the uh, the beard uh, Liam Liam yeah. Dempsey. And we've got um, Master Chaplain Van Dark in as well. And we're going to be doing a... Um, we've got a topic today. Liam, why don't you tell everyone what the topic of the podcast is? I liked... I gave you a false name to use as well. We were mm. WhatsApping before this. And Hang I on a you second. Sh- you could, wait. I said... You, wait. What? What? What am I waiting I'm, for? I'm doing it again. No, uh, we were going to call him Chump to Master Valrak. But God oh, yeah. I liked... Chump to like piss up in a brewer. I'd like yeah, Master really. Chaplin Val- Valdor because that was great. So, <laughs> um, if this is the first time you've listened to the ECP because you've just come and turned up because Valrax joined us, then welcome. Um, we do yeah. do these weekly on DZTV, and every week we do we pick a topic, we talk about that for a period of time, and then we dive into our, our community Discord and we have questions asked by our community uh, that can be literally fucking anything you want to ask. Yeah. From what's your favourite faction to would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? It doesn't doesn't matter what you ask. You can ask it. We'll answer it. Uh, this time round, Chris put the the call out to the community last night and told them specifically we had Chump to Master Varrock joining us, <laughs> and so we've got some specific. We got some crackers. We got some cracking questions. I shouldn't have right. turned up. But that's <laughs> coming. Asleep. That's oh, we did. I did <laughs> warn you. Uh, that's coming at the end of the topic, and the topic I want to talk about is relevant to Sam um, since he's joined us tonight as well. And I don't have necessarily a, a definitive opinion on this, but it's something oh. I think is intro- interesting to discuss. Um, and this, I, I kind of come up with this topic, Sam, because it sort of centres around your type of content on YouTube. Could and what be? I want to know is, <laughs> it, is, is, leak best co- is leak-based content, is it good for the community, and is it good for Games Workshop? And that's what we're going to discuss tonight. Let's I do think. it. Let's jump in the deep end. I'm going to drown. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so there are a lot of people out there, specifically as well, actually. These people tend to be um, reviewers, uh, product reviewers, codex reviewers, that sort of thing, who would suggest that leak-based content is really negative in general. Now, my, my, what I question is, it's negative for them because they're under NDAs, right? Yep. So those people, I mean, I'm one of these people, I have an NDA, um, so I cannot... If, if Sam sticks something on YouTube like he has recently saying uh, Black Templars are coming or there's new Chaos oh, Knights coming out, this your content, mate. I'm just I'm just copying what you've put in your videos because I can't say a fucking word because I've no, got can I? Side, I'm on the side same for one. legal documents. Yeah. Yeah. So when he says that, I can't then react on YouTube and say, fuck, there's a load of views to be had here and I can go and talk about that thing. I can't do it because I'm under an NDA. So people would suggest, and again, these people tend to be the previewers, that leak content is bad. However, if you look at it in the eyes of the community, uh, the people that are just sort of fan-based, that play, watch, etc., and I would argue if you look at it in the eyes of Games Workshop, it could be argued that for both of those groups of people, it's actually good for both of them. Uh, because the community get an idea of what's coming early, because Games Workshop is also very insular about what they're releasing and when they're releasing it. And for Games Workshop, it builds hype. So I can't see how they can see it as a negative thing. And surely... Oh, but we know what they're like, Games Workshop. They 
they don't always think the same way as us, do they, Liam? No, they don't they, always they do have the not. Sa- they're not always on the same wavelength as us peasants. Wow, amazing fan animations kill them all. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying your hobby? (laughs) Put an end to it now. (laughs) Execute Order 66. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, the thing is, though, like, when I do leak content, it's not like, hey, here's an entire codex. Let's put it online kind of thing. Like, I don't do anything like that at all because I don't agree with that. It's just, like, I'm not interested in rules. I always say that all the time. I don't give a crap about rules. I don't give a shit. Rules change. But if there's something that, is given to me, which looks fantastic, then I'll talk about it. Models are spicy, aren't they? They're spicy. Models are spicy. Everyone, yeah. Especially everyone when it's Black Templars. Yeah, everyone wants to know what's coming out and they want to be, you know, on the... They want to be there. We were the, we were mm. the same. We were I actually... Same. You know what? There, there, there was a time where I stopped doing leak content because people were like, oh, it's just clickbait and you, you can probably argue it's clickbait. Easler. Easler, yeah. Um, but... It was it was it was it was getting to a point where people were just sending me like mad stuff. Like they were saying, Oh, I've seen such and such, it's definitely happening. This is happening and I thought, is it really happening? And I thought I don't want to start making videos like leading people down the garden trail. But now, you know, like I said, um if you watch my videos, I have a I have Alfarius on my side now and everything that he's been saying uh, lately has come true. Like it was the Krieg, the Black Templars uh, what else was before that? There was something else I forgot now. So, um, so question yeah. for you then: do, do you have a line that you won't cross for what you will and won't leak? So you said that you won't post codexes or, or the uh, rules. Do you have a specific line, or is it just what you feel like? Well, the, well, the thing is, is like the, the the stuff that is given to me by individuals, I, I only post that when they say post it. You know, I'm, I've been told a lot of stuff which. I can't talk about right now, of course, because it would betray their trust. But if they say to me, all right, yeah, you're free to talk about this, then I'll talk about it. And in terms of what I post, like, I've seen the images of certain things that are coming out. I won't post that because that is, that, well, that could potentially get people in trouble, and I don't want to do that. So I'll just talk about it. And like you said, well, like, sorry, like I said before, um, I've seen it when, like, they post full codexes online. I think, what was it? Was it the ninth edition one that got leaked right at the start? I think it was like someone posted it online so i don't agree with stuff like that like leaking the entire book and so like snippets and stuff just to get a bit of the hype up but like the entire book i think it was death like, guard I, 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 yeah was it definitely taking a was. photo of every page yeah. on a shitty like phone mm. yeah it was a yeah. Couple, it might, i mean it might i can't remember if it was in fact ninth edition indomitus but um, it might have been the indomitus box where box where games workshop gave us under an nda they gave us a release date that we were allowed to put our content up and everybody who gets preview copies gets the same nda date the embargo always lifts at the same time and yeah. we had a random email come through on a wednesday or a thursday saying fuck it it's been leaked everywhere get it up as fast as you can mm. and get it out there and i mean i hadn't even finished creating the video yet and it was a mad panic between all the creators going fucking and that's because someone had taken the rule book basically and posted every fucking page on on um yes yeah, yeah, right. on, you on see you see set. for stuff like that see that I, I think i think those are different type of leaks like the leaks that I talk about and leaks that I do are purely looking at... Like, again, I don't, I, I, I don't like talking about rules because rules for me are just crap because they change every other day. Like, I prefer the models because the models literally last like 20 years for Games Workshop. Mm. You don't get a new model for like 20 years. Well, unless you're so, a primary lieutenant. Yeah, oh, of changes. course, mate. Yeah. <laughs> every year. I, I swear to God, if we don't get released by the end of this year, I'm quitting. Um, so, yeah, when, like, so, so when, when you look at it as a whole, I just like... I think I think the last big leak was the the Horus Heresy box set or the not so Horus Heresy box set, couldn't say GW, like the the worst kept secret. I love that leak because it just showed the images I and mean, it was it, it brought up a full debate then, like what are we actually getting? Like apparently the Spartan assault tank is going to be in plastic. You get some new Praetors in the box. It's going to be Mark Six Corvus, and the whole topic now is is it going to go like a different scale mm-hmm. in it because it looks different. They look different models, and I like that conversation that it brings to the table then and people now like you said are just fully hyped for horror terror yeah, that's and the hype are, train and, isn't it? and people people are like yes it's finally coming i can save money i can put this aside and i'm gonna get so this, this and that 
this is something that's interesting. When we, when we move on to the hype train, we're sort of focusing on as well whether it's good or bad for Games Workshop. Now, mm. it, it, I think the common answer is always a hype train is good for Games Workshop mm-hmm. because it gets people excited about what's coming. Mm. It gets people excited about the release. It generates that, that sort of demand. People want it. And especially now they're releasing everything in fucking limited edition. Uh, people <coughs> are going to want that thing. They're going to want that box. Yeah. However, I would suggest there's a, there's a negative to it because that hype train is all well and good as long as the release lives up to the expectation. Mm-hmm. If the release doesn't live up to the expectation, they can really damage themselves, I think, with that said hype train. Whereas if they were able to keep that under wraps and then they release something, because of the initial excitement, it will probably overweigh the fact that it might not be as exciting as people have perceived it in that lead up to, which is, I, mean, I think is quite interesting in itself. Hype trains yeah. have been a business model for ages, mate. I mean, it, mm. it, that was how movies were sold, weren't it? Because once you've got someone in the doors, it doesn't matter if the film was bad, you've, they've already paid the price of entry. Yeah. Um, but I guess it is a bit weird in, in in the sense of using it for a fixed product that gets reviewed and is available to be previewed by everybody before they buy it. So, yeah, mm. I mean, it makes sense that it, it could be a problem. But I think uh, Games Workshop stuff is, is one of those things where people just buy it anyway. You know, it's like there's always going to be someone who's going to buy whatever you put out there, especially yeah. if it's limited as well. Fuck me. They sell fine cast and people still buy it. Yeah, yeah. So that's proof, right? <laughs> and fuck it. If yeah. they can't get people to buy it, the scalpers will buy it all anyway. So <laughs> Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, Boom. you're right. I, I, for me, I don't think there's nothing wrong with hype. I, yeah, like you said, I can see that perspective. But for me, I, I love it. Like even, like, even when it's not my rumours and I read other people's rumours, it gets me, even though it, it might not be true, it might not be happen, but it, it brings up a topic to talk about then. And mm. that's what I, I, I love doing. I just love talking about it. Have you ever been offered? Have you ever been offered the chance to be a previewer? No, I've heard <laughs> through the grapevine that um, they dislike my channel and channels like mine. I don't know why. <laughs> channels like you. <laughs> yeah, um, this I like Kirioff does kind of the same content as me and stuff like that. But I did speak to Kirioff, and apparently he was going to sign an NDA, but then he. Um, I think I, I, what it was, I think it was Orc stuff that came out at the time or something like that. Then he made a video on it, he said, and then they just never got back to him at all. Yeah. See, it's, so. uh, it, it's, it's really strange. I would have assumed, um, genuinely, considering the size of your channel and the reach that you have, and I'm not blowing smoke up your ass because everyone knows I think you're a complete bellend. Yep. But considering the, the, the size of the channel, <laughs> I don't understand how or why they wouldn't have reached out to you and said, look, I mean, and the other thing is, considering that, may, well, maybe, this is interesting, maybe they know that you're leaking all this stuff and actually they'd rather you kept doing that. Perhaps that's what it is. They'll just never what admit if, it as well. What if, right, I'm actually secretly working for Games Workshop and this whole channel has just been a ruse from the start? They said, <laughs> right, we're going to give you all this money secretly. You go on and start a fan channel, get over 100,000 subscribers, and all you do is just hype up our content. No one's really looking at that. Think, I think that they haven't sent you an NDA because you can't spell it. Probably, right? Yeah, I can't even say your name. I can't spell my name. I can't write. I've got no hands. How can I, how can I sign anything? He's also Chris. He's also got no pants on. <laughs> yeah, I've got no pants on. Yeah. <laughs> Powerful. Okay. No pants room. So do you, do you think, uh, interestingly then, if Games Workshop came to you and said, Sam, and said, actually, we want to bring you under the previewer sort of banner, uh, here's an NDA. Join us or die. Yeah, go on. It's Bane, yeah, well. don't do it. Let's, <laughs> and let's, let's, say they weren't doing, let's say they weren't doing traditional games workshop, they weren't saying you can either sign it or we'll shut you down, and they were just saying, yeah. it's up to you, would you go for it or not, do you think? Uh, do you know what? At the start of my channel, I always said to myself, I would love to like review stuff, because what I do, I get it, and I just give it away to people, and stuff like that. But now, I, now that I talk about I don't think I would, because I don't want anyone telling me what I can talk about at all. Like, it would I'm, arguably I'm, massively you, change the sort of feel it, of your channel as well, wouldn't it? Would, yeah. Like, I'm in a position now where I'm like, I'm not saying like I'm rich bitch or anything, but I don't care if they send me products or not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not asked about that, so it doesn't bother me. One there. Bit. It's a flex, isn't it? It yeah, was a flex, flex, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. eat that, Micah. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, it is interesting because I've. Um, 
I mean, you know, I come and watch your content and hang out in your live streams and stuff like that. If you guys, yeah, if you guys cool. don't know who this twat is, um, you can go over to YouTube and check out Chapter Master Valrak. Videos are almost daily, um, streams almost nightly because he's got no fucking friends. So kind of life. He's, just on YouTube. he's just on YouTube all the time. <laughs> um, and, and, I, and I look at the content and the success that you have, and I, I guess a lot of what probably... I mean, I think there's two things that draw people to your channel, and that is the interaction and the banter that exists from the streams and mm. the fact that you kick out a lot of rumour engine and leak content, which people do enjoy. People want to know what's people coming. People yeah. want that it. hype. They do. They like I, the excitement. And I, 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 yeah, yeah. I think that we, or I definitely, miss out on that as a previewer. And I've all often wondered, in hindsight, if they now came... Because I always thought to myself, well, actually, being a previewer is going to going to sort of enhance the channel because people will want to go to previewers but that doesn't work if other fuckers are getting it out there before even a preview has got out there and i wonder is the nda a positive or negative for the channel now in general and i still think it's a positive i'm still sort of leaning on that as a i think it's a positive in general and i think if they came to me now i'd probably say yes but I haven't also built a channel around rumours and, and sort of leaks, so I guess that's probably why I sit on that on that side. Well, here's of the, fence. the thing, Liam. From mm. a personal perspective, on top of this as well, now that we can we we can see like so much stuff, right? Um, do you do you not feel like part of you regrets it a little bit that nothing is? I I exciting. hate the fact that. I don't get excited like everybody yeah. else now. So we have to get excited in our very little fucking circle in our of tiny bubbles. Oh, like, oh my god! Yeah, and we can't talk to anyone else about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it, I really do miss bit. it. Like when do you, do you remember there was a there was a period of time where I think um, they were uploading images. I think it was like during the 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 original Chaos Space Marines release. They were putting pictures up on the community, and someone had figured out where they were storing the images for like yeah. weeks later articles and stuff. Yeah. I remember literally yeah. like spunking everywhere constantly <laughs> and these amazing leaks that are coming out and we don't we don't get that I don't get that at all now because so there's loads of spunk just all stuck inside of me basically because it's either I've got to talk to Liam or, or nothing I have to hold it in yeah yeah I, I will say that, that Games spunk. Workshop literally has no idea how to run a website because <laughs> the amount of, the amount of things they do I'm like you know like people have cookies stuff and we can see all this stuff you put on there like nope is is that is that all an accident though well that's the see thing, is th- it? this is the thing this is it is games <laughs> workshop doing this are they doing it this this is the main top no it's definitely games workshop doing it but i hear from people that they're furious like when the horror heresy stuff dropped people like they've definitely done this they've definitely done this but i was hearing from people inside the company that they were furious about that like how is this getting out this should be truth. happening is it just means they're completely fucking clueless and incompetent? <laughs> that's that's the other end of the spectrum. The As I always that... say, they couldn't run a piss up in a brewery. It's yeah. just like like I've I've been told like like every department is like a separate island, and it's just like trying to sail to a different island to communicate mm. between departments. It's that much of a mess. But so I I mean mm. I I have heard that that is how it works, and there's lots of silos within the business that work separately to one another. But I genuinely, honestly believe that some of the stuff that was out there that had been leaked early, some of the potato cam shit that comes out, mm. I 100% thought it was Games Workshop. 100% it could I be. thought it was them. It has to come from somewhere, doesn't it? The, because the, who, the the fuck, to, yeah. who, who the fuck owns a camera like potato cam nowadays? <laughs> it has to be an edited image. No, I, 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 I always say this. I, I always say that like, the, the leakers... I like basically UFO for, for photographers. It's like the worst quality <laughs> image you can ever get. Like they, they, they must hunt UFOs in their spare time because because even like a smartphone now, it will auto focus. It will get you the yeah. best image with a click. So you literally have to go out of your way to go. I'm going to make this the worst image possible. It's like okay then, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I it's interesting if they are in fact as furious as you're suggesting. That that's super interesting because that just means that. Again, this um, is all just rumour. Mind like, you, if they paid the same people to develop the website that they have to develop the fucking app, then it's exciting ex- <laughs> today, I guess. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Maybe Let's that's a double that. bluff. Maybe the whole thing is just it's just all double bluffs, and they say they're furious, but they're not furious, mm. and then they're doing this, and it's a trap, and it's this, and it's that. And uh, it, could go, it could go pretty They are deep. literally Alpha Legion. That's what they are. Yeah. They're just, they're just like, no one knows what's going on. But part of me thinks, mm. though, then they try and go after the fan films in the community that they are just big dum dums. You know what I mean? There's, there's got to be, it's, it's odd. 
And we it's we spent. I, mean, we, I, I I spoke about this on Monday. Um, I spoke about the the Beast Snagger box and limited edition boxes on Monday on the stream. And for this, for me, this doesn't even make sense. So driving demand makes sense as a business. I get that, mm. but the way in which they've done it and the way in which they've released what they've released doesn't make sense to me. So <laughs> to drop a to drop a hundred and twenty five pound box set with a limited edition, we're in a, we're in a situation now in forty k where mm. some orc players have got Codex version one and some orc, <clears> no, uh, or or version eighth edition, and some orc players have got Codex version nine. I'm off to an event with the guys at Vanguard Tactics this weekend, and an orc like. player could potentially go, well, which fucking book do I use? Mm. Because generic mm. orc players who didn't get the um who didn't get the limited edition box, they can't use those rules because it's not yep. available. Because people are like... buying eight copies to put on eBay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's no, th- this, this is I don't even get up topic. anymore. I literally, I literally don't even get up anymore to even go on the website to get a, well, I, I will for like books and well, for the Horace Heresy Siege of Terror books, but for models and boxes now, I just, I just, I just can't be bothered. I just, yeah. it's just too much of a everyone, every man for the self kind of thing. It's so much, so stressful. It's like, it's not even worth it. But I just it's, don't understand I what it. I said on the stream. Why wouldn't they? Say on release day or pre-order day, we're going to have X number of copies, 5,000, 10,000, whatever mm. it is, X number of copies. And then we will ship those. And then two, three weeks later, we're going to open up made to order for the rest of you. And then we're going to have a three-week period where you can place your order. And then we'll ship mm. those some point within two months. Mm. At least then they're not going to ever overproduce because they know exactly what they've got to create. Yeah. But also, if you're going to drop a limited edition codex, you kind of, and they've done this with Lumineth of AOS. They've done it with Sisters of uh, a Battle in um, 8th edition, you need to release the standard one at the same fucking the same time. time yeah. That's if only, just a if only they had, like, a kind of app where you could release that kind of content on it. I think I think that would be fantastic. But, yeah, yeah this is GW. Is that yeah. you cracking a tinny, Chris? Mid-stream? Yeah, yeah, I'm having a big old can of the red stuff. Mm. Oh, right, Coke. Okay. I thought it was uh, other, <laughs> other drinks were available. No, I didn't, know, I, thought, I, I didn't know whether we were drinking tonight or not, but clearly we're not. So I thought you were just cracking a, cla- a can of blue striping off your end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next um, yeah. So, so I, I, I think that I, I've always been in this. I've always been in this. This to and fro. Are they supremely business savvy, and a lot of these things are done on purpose, or are they just a multi-billion-pound company that aren't set up to be a multi-billion-pound company, and so they're just having loads of problems that they can't seem to solve? And it- I seesaw between mm-hmm. the two. It's quite a high chance. It's the it's the second one, though, isn't it? Mm. Well, uh, well, if if you look at a lot of their positions, it co- it comes from in house, so you could probably argue there's a lot of nepotism mm-hmm. um, that is in there in, in, in there. I know. What does it mean? I don't know. I just, I, I, I just <laughs> watched the film. It was, it was it was on there. It sounded good. So I'm going to use it on it. Um, but yeah, if you, like they they kind of hire inside rather than outside do you know one of the reasons why they probably don't hire outside is because they will give the person who's qualified for that job a price which they're uh, will give you this and they go no i'm well worth more than that and they go all right then we'll just hire from inside then that's it i have Mm. yeah there's a whole thing on twitter the other day about this guy who wasn't like he was a lead game designer he designed silver tower he designed um Ah, Chris, Tit- this is the thing that quips the Titanicus. Of yeah, loads, mm. loads of stuff, didn't he? Titanicus yeah. and mm. the guy was on nineteen thousand a year as a lead game designer, and you're like, is that it? Like, what? I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a bad job, but when I came out of the armor, I'd secure it, and I was on like twenty four grand a year, and that was literally sitting in a cabin, looking at a wall, doing nothing. I wish so, I fucking stayed there. <laughs> that's kind of like uh, cool. That's like just a, like this. A call centre supervisor salary or something, mm. I'd say, mm. for for being the lead game designer. Mm. That's it's that's pretty messed up. Yeah, mm. but didn't he earn more money mm. as as a store manager? Didn't he? Yeah, that's he earned more, more as a store manager. He yeah, actually, yeah. like in his thread, he said he requested um, if he could get you know a higher salary and stuff, and they said that was it in the budget. Yeah. Imagine, imagine Julian's workshop saying, "Sorry, it's not in the budget." Wait, well, you you, you tax profit here. Says ninety five million. Sorry, it's not the budget, mate. <laughs> Just can't do it. Can't yeah. do five grand more. But absolutely skint. <laughs> it wasn't it worse than that that he got that someone said he could have it and then some other one went, eh, you're not allowed, and it got yeah. back. Yeah. It was something like that, wasn't it? There was, there was a whole thread about like the not. It's looked down on to talk about his salary yeah. in the company and stuff. It's like that's pretty okay. toxic. Like 
yeah. workplace, isn't it? A work environment mm. where you get paid fuck all, which it yeah, it's strange. But, but I mean, then... I mean, to some extent, right? I, I think, I think, uh, to be fair, anyone who works, one of the biggest drivers for getting up in the morning and going to work is what you're paid, right? And I don't yeah. think it's, um, I don't think it's a negative to talk about that now, especially in the modern world. And you can have the, the world's, you know, you can have the world's best dream job, but if you can't afford to house yourself, feed yourself and your family, mm. then it's not so much of a dream job anymore because you've got other stresses that just fucking destroy your life. Yeah. Uh, and I know there's lots of people out there that are, especially over COVID and stuff, that have been in this situation. So a lot of people, a lot of people have said statements along the lines of, well, you're fucking doing your dream job. So, you know, <coughs> you, take a, you take a less yeah. wage to do your dream job. And again, I get that you would take a less wage to do your dream job. I, I understand and I agree. But it, he, I think, in this particular thread, this individual had they just had a newborn. I think they had yeah, a child. Yeah, yeah. And so he's looking at supporting a family now. And if you can't support your family, your dream job becomes a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. You it's, know, it's, it's a waste of time. But then yeah. straight after that, there's this oh, five thousand pound bonus for everybody. Like a day after that Twitter thread goes viral, like everywhere was, within the was, community. Was it was it five thousand? But I've heard different things. Like someone said, it's stock options they get. Oh, it is five thousand like pounds in stock. In so, stock, okay. I don't know what so that it's not, it, equates to. It's not literally like they just come in and go, here's an envelope and slide it across the table and go, buy well, there was a rumour <laughs> that when, there was a rumour that, and I don't know how true this is, that when Duncan left, he cashed rumor, his... Okay. He, well, well, yeah, I'm, do, I'm doing I'm doing channel. Yeah. I'm recording it right now. <laughs> there was a rumour that when Duncan <laughs> left Games Workshop, he cashed in his stocks and shares, and the value of what he cashed in was fucking insane. Okay. So I think he. Ca- I'll, I'll see if I can find said rumor. Talk amongst yourselves. See so if I can find said rumor because I've got my own little. I've got my own little Alfarius. Like a Duncan, the Wolf of Wall Street, loving it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got to. Have, he's got to have made some money because he didn't make it off his salary, did he? And he's able to do his own thing now. So I, actually, I actually felt sorry for Duncan because they basically made. Well, he became like the meme of Games Workshop. Yeah, he did. and I, I really hoped like he was getting the money for being that top tier meme quality. And by the look of it, I don't think they did. So it's, a, it's his, his, and he started his own thing. His share payout from his share save scheme was rumored to be just over a hundred thousand pound. Nice, okay. Duncan. Nice. And then he's now set himself up a YouTube channel that's on three hundred thousand subscribers and an academy that's probably making him more than he ever made at Games Workshop. Yeah, yeah. at least he him. got living the dream. From, yeah, he got it from GW. They, they, at least he was mm. able to turn that into something positive because I know a lot of people end up just walking out bit disillusioned uh which is something shame. i won't forgive him for though i think he's an absolute bastard for is that when the knights came out he stole all the house griffith knights so i had to end up doing the blue ones i forgot what the name now they're basically the ultramarines of knights and i was furious house terran <laughs> house terran yeah and i wanted to do house griffiths and he took all the griffiths decals off the fans in the community because there was no house griffiths decals at the time <sighs> so they all sent him to him because he was a bigger celebrity than me and i hate <laughs> him for that i hate him that's it. If you hear it here, Duncan, Valrak hates you. I hate you so much. You How so dare much. you take my Griffith decals? Imagine trying to compete against Duncan, though. He's so wholesome, isn't he? He's just. That was one of the things I noticed about him was that, like, he he brought that um, that really like clean style to those videos. It was like, oh, hello, everybody. Hey. And it was, you know. Well, it's, it's really interesting though that when you look at um, the people that have been, I guess with the exception of the stores and the shops, I guess more customer-facing in terms of, like, Warhammer TV and stuff. Uh, Duncan, who's now chosen to walk away and do his own thing. Rob Sims worked for Warhammer TV originally. He now runs mm-hmm. The Honest Wargamer. He walked away, does his own thing. Uh, Kerry, I can't remember her surname, who worked for Warhammer TV. She now she now does the Hobby Room on Twitch, does her own thing. Mm-hmm. With a boyfriend, people... right? With Ben? Yeah, 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 absolutely, there. yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah, both, so these yeah, people both. are choosing to walk away from what we all supposedly know as Mecca, and mm. go and do their own thing. And it's interesting they're making that choice. You would think that I'm a, I'm a presenter of Battle Reports, or I'm a presenter of this, or I'm a presenter of that, for fucking Warhammer, for Warhammer TV, mm. for Games Workshop. But yet they're going, mm, I think I can do better on my own. Jeez. Well, you're absolutely going to be um, sort of forced to, to be a certain way, right? There's, yeah. there's no doubt about that. They're, they're, a big, they're, they're a bit old school in their approach to things still yeah the old school with their approach to with their use of lawyers um, I, I, I yeah i like i think if you if you if you look at their twitch channel right like for, for example i do watch alongs 
to their reveals and stuff like that. And the thing that we always bring up is how shit the quality of their oh, streams are. Oh, don't get me are. started. Don't like, out. like, listen, I'm, I, I'm, I'm in out. my, I'm in my little spare room here. I've got a webcam, right? I've got just a few lights. Like, these are a multi-million pound company. Buy the guy a camera, GW. Just buy him a camera. That's all we ask. Like, the top-down shaky table when he unboxes things. Yeah, like yeah, a fucking earthquake going shit. off. And it's like, you just buy him, like, something to... to, to um, they're literally trying to sell a product which is going to make them millions. And they're doing it in the most awful... Like, I, don't, I feel sorry for the people who presented it. Like, um, I forgot his name. He's called... And um, Ben, I think Eddie Eccles, Eddie Eccles, Adam Troke, who Adam we, Troke, yeah, that's it, yeah. we definitely don't talk about mm. on like nearly every episode. I've met Adam Troke, and he's a really nice guy, but the content that they're showing off is absolutely uh, so dog you, shit. We I get the basically, impression we we have basically bought this up, Sam, on every fucking podcast because right, yeah, okay. it triggers me. Yeah, it, the the the. the, the some, someone tried to tell me once, oh, it's because they're trying to make it so that everyone feels like they're one of them because they're all stuck at home during... <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, fuck 100 that. million pound business plus, right? I'll tell you and what you it can't get like. the cunt a decent microphone and a decent camera. <laughs> it's like they've been told to use whatever they've got laying around at home. That, that's the thing. It's like they've been told, oh, have you got a computer at home? Yeah. You've got a webcam? Yeah. Well, just use that then, you prick. And they send them, they send them off. It's like, what the fuck? It's just, but it's not even, the thing is with those two poor fuckers as well, right? First of all, they've got terrible equipment and you think multi-million pound company, buy yeah. them some good equipment. I mean, I, I run an expensive setup, you know, mm. I, my audio is about 800 quid's worth. My camera is about two grand's worth. I run an expensive setup. You don't need this. You mm. don't even need this to look good. Mm. Sam's running a, uh, and Chris and both running webcams, right? 4 cam, a, a, a 4K Brio, that's all I've got. I've got that's one. That's what, that's what I've got. We're running the same one, but mine looks extra shit today for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, are you sure about that? Are you sure? Yeah. Chris makes yeah. it look worse to hide the imperfections. Anyway, yeah, exactly. um, <laughs> but even if you take my setup, right? Even if you take my setup, it's it's three grand worth of kit. It's a Games Workshop. That's flex. So that's, it's, that's nothing. It's expensive. To, it's expensive to the normal person, but to Games yeah, Workshop, yeah. it is a drop cool. in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. But it's not just that, right? It's not just that. The other thing that they don't give them is good content to talk about. Here's War. Here's Warhammer Fest that we're going to do digitally oh, online, yeah. right? And what we're going to do is we're going to reveal everything that we've already fucking revealed. Mm. I feel super Poor sorry. Bastards, like, what? Yeah. And they've got to sit there and be really excited about it. Mm. Like, fuck off. It's, We've all like, seen this weeks ago. We actually call it on my stream, cor- the corporate waffle is active. So we just press mute. And then we just talk as like, you know, between me and the chat. Like, oh, what would you like to see next? We don't listen to anything they say because I know what it is. It's, this is amazing. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. This is good. But again, you're not like, you're not going to get them to say their personal opinion on it. Because yeah, they if they dislike it, they can't. They're not allowed to. They have to follow that corporate script because it's their official channel. And that's exactly so why Duncan and Kerry and that, all those people... That's, yeah, I think that's why, yeah. I think yeah. that's why, because they can't have their own voice. And now yeah. that they do have their own voice, they actually have people following them more and getting out yeah. there. Mm. Yeah, I, It's too clinical and you can... Te- it's, it's not fooling anybody. That's the thing. Like, it's like I'm them. positive... Yeah, like I'm quite positive of GW, like Shil- Shilrack. I'm known as in a, a few certain circles. <laughs> <laughs> um... But you know, there's I, I, I won't I, like I, I, I really I don't dislike AOS. It's just not the game for me. So when AOS comes on, we kind of meme it a bit, like oh, like the new goblins. We're like oh, look, new Lord of the Rings models, and people are like how dare you <laughs> and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that like the, like the way they go is just it's just the next level. But again, you can't blame them because they're basically they're being told and being paid to say that stuff. So yeah. what can you do? But I think that what they I think that the core content that they do when they do their reveal stuff is fundamentally wrong. We mm. know as an audience, right, you said it yourself, you've you've already said this Sam, we know they're not gonna be able to give us their honest opinion. They're just never mm. gonna be allowed to do that. So why do they have sections in these reveals where they give us their opinion? Because we know it's bollocks. Yeah. So you're better off instead of going, this the is super images. good and I really mm. love this, why don't you just tell us about what it is and we mm. make up our own fucking mind because that's what we're gonna do anyway. Rather yeah. than because I don't I'm I will I would genuinely rather watch one of your watch longs or Mikey from Hellstorm's watch longs rather than watch their Copy actual cut. stream because I don't listen to what they're talking about because it's nonsense. I just want to see what they're showing me and then that's about it. You know what though? I would pay, I would absolutely I would fucking pay see Eddie Eccles go 
Right, and then what have we got next? Oh, it's this new book. And just, it's fucking shit. That would be absolutely <laughs> he, sweet. He just turns around in his chair and he launched out his wall, you yeah. fucking piece of crap, <laughs> and just shatters into a million pieces. I would actually uh, resub to them on Twitter. Oh, hell yeah. If they did that, I'd be like, nice job. Resub. Eccles being um, a complete savage. But I do mm. want to just put an extra nod in there that to that shaky table. I'm so glad that, that that's been brought up. Because that table just... It blew my fucking When we watch mind. it, we, we're like this on my screen. Yeah. Get in, boys. Brace it. We're all going together. Put, put a bit of newspaper it's, under it, mate. So what it reminds me of. It reminds me of them... I don't know. I was in hospital for a couple of uh, like a couple of weeks, a few days. Well, a few weeks ago. And it's like the hospital tray they used to bring around my food on. It was all shaker. Like that, I was yeah. like, oh, it's, it's like one of them trays. It's like, come on, Eddie, or oh, Adam. It, I, yeah, they're Let's not get a TV but, stand. But the other thing is as well is, and and this is where I, I I'm I try really hard to not get personal about this, and and I and I genuinely because I'm sure they're amazing people. I'm sure they're lovely. Guys. They're amazing. They're really nice. People that have met both, them yeah. have said only nice things about them. Mm. Yeah, we just they dickheads, aren't. Mate, so it's okay. But, but but yeah, but so we, we've covered the fact that they have got shit equipment, not their fault. We've covered the fact that they've got shit content, not their fault. They're also not the most charismatic people on camera, are they? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I think I think you, there's a certain there's a certain person that co- like is made for camera, and I would argue that they're not. But I don't I, I don't think that was in their job description anyway. I no, think, you're I think, probably right. I, I, on that like one. like like I think the people that were have all left. Like Ben, he was well, made for it. Interesting, you should say that. Do you want to hear another duty rumor? Mm, go on then. Just go on my video. Go on my channel a bit. Go they on. recently advertised for a Warhammer TV presenter. I don't oh, if, you, if you knew this, it was on the job description for a while on the website. Um, and they had asked also specifically to, um, to, to look for people that have got competitive experience. I ended up t- talking to the hiring manager at Gaze Workshop. So this part isn't rumour. Um, because I had been put in touch with him because someone said, you should apply. And I was like, well, you know, what's... what's What's the spiel? What's going on? Stop when and, in the and I, I mean, I got told. Well, I, so I got told you would have to shut YouTube, but you'd have to be completely disassociated with the deployment zone. And I said, "You fucking poke that up your ass, then. I'm not interested." Yeah. However, the duty rumor coming out of Gaze Workshop HQ since that um, job application is closed is of the applicants that they've received. Not a single one of them is a current content creator. Ooh. Not one. Because again, it's it's this thing. It's like they don't want competition. How I, this right? This is what I can't understand. They're a billion dollar company. What is my channel going to do to affect their bottom line? Yeah, I, I like I don't understand it. One single like what like like I know D, DTZV what the fuck it's called is big, right? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what it's called. Um, deployments on TV, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm a sub to it. I'm that a sub. Was, that's a flex. Uh, that's a flex. Um, but like. If you wow. if you were on there, if you were wow. on there, if you were on there, listen, you give me the crap, I'll give you the crap right back. That's what it is. <laughs> fair, right? Fair one. Fair. Right. If you were on there, it's not gonna affect you. It's not gonna affect winters. It's not gonna affect them. So I don't I don't know what the problem is. Like they should hire the best person for the job. Yeah. And 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 I, I know what it is, because I've spoken to people who work at GW who have set up their channels, and it's that non compete clause. And it's like, why? You're not like if you sign an NDA saying, okay, you can't talk about anything that's coming out, of course. You know, I understand that. You can't go on your channel and go, guess what I saw last week, mate. Um, yeah, I understand that. But to just make content and stuff, what's, what's the problem? So it's I guess it's, it's that so, old school mentality. Yeah. Mentality, and they well, can't yeah. get their heads around the fact that the, the whole scene has changed and they've got quite, they've got people who have made companies out of their products, right? People who've made uh, you've got the huge, you know, Mini Wargaming were one of the first to to do it mm. like that and if if they were to just accept that and bring it all into things they could it could be incredible they could make an incredible scene but, but it's just that old lawyer mentality the blokes who are probably out there pushing the law side of it haven't got a fucking clue what it what it's all about mm. they probably so haven't I, got a... I originally thought that one of the reasons why they would have a form of non-compete in there would be well Actually, so let, let's say, for example, um, I don't know. Uh, let's take Mikey from Hellstorm, right? Because we spoke about him already. <clears throat> let's say Mikey from Hellstorm started working for Games Workshop on Warhammer TV, but he was allowed to keep Hellstorm Wargaming as a channel. Mm. There is a possibility that because he's then one of the faces of Warhammer TV, Hellstorm Plus, or Premium, whatever the fuck he calls it, would explode. 
right? Yeah. Logically, because yeah. he's one of look at Duncan. Like he left, he left Games Workshop three hundred thousand YouTube subs in, in a year and a bit. So that is there is a potential that he would then have an unfair advantage over channels like DCTV, Mini War Gaming, Tabletop Tactics, yeah, all yeah. those other other channels. So I thought that for ages, and I thought, nah, Games Workshop don't think about other fucking channels like that. That's mm-hmm. got nothing to do with it. No, that's not what it is at all. That, that would be employment law. That would be a conflict of interest, though. And I can understand why they'd see that as a conflict of interest if he was using his position in one job to drive the sales in his personal job, right? You wouldn't be able to get away with that in any other field, as it were. But at the same time, that that's because they're not their approach to this whole thing is really backward anyway. They're just trying to make another channel that does the same things. They've got the like we've discussed before, they have got all of the... They've got literally all the models, right? They know everything that's coming out, and they've got all the scenery, all the artists, all the, all of that stuff, and the only thing they can think of to do is to do... is to, is to make something that does the exact same thing as all these so, other channels are doing. So why didn't they go to Tabletop Tactics, go to Winters, go to Mikey, go to all these Battle Report channels that exist, go Thanks. to Vanguard Tactics? Why don't they go to those people and go, we're going to put you on a retainer, and we yeah. want you to come and work for us for three, four days a month. Uh, that's it, on your retainer. And so these people then turn up, film a bunch of content, which is well known out in the community anyway, mm-hmm. but it's exclusive to Warhammer Plus. Yeah, make a Rather massive than, fucking thing now, about it. They've now they've yeah. now fished they fished the internet for a new presenter. They've got fucking no one that applies, and you're going to end up with fucking, fucking Eddie Eccles talking about competitive play now on Warhammer TV. Yeah, that's what you're going to get, and it's no no fault of his own because he'll be told mm-hmm. you're doing this. Off you go. Uh, yeah. the fuck am I reading? <laughs> I think, do you know what? I think Apparently, that's what mech aren't that broken. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's what it may be, actually. You just hit the nail on the head. It's like someone who knows the knowledge will go, no, that is not how it is. And they won't like that conflict of like, like, I'm not a competitive gamer, but if someone like Winters uh, went on there. Undefeated, Sam. Uh, well, I, you know, I can't, I'm not going to brag about myself, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm making my own trophy. Um, <laughs> but. If something like Winters went on there and they said, right, talk about this and why it does this and how good it is. And then Winters said, well, I play with this and it's not that good doing this. Like, I think that's a conflict of interest that, yeah. that they don't want. They just want, they, they just want everything to be positive. And I think, I think that's one of the scary things about Warhammer Plus is that I know a lot of people say they're taking everything down. Um, but if they start doing like, for example, their bat reps and stuff. Are they really going to say, oh, I dislike what that model does? I think mm. that it needs improvement there. I don't think you'll get that on their stuff like you get on everyone else's stuff. Like They actually go into the negatives of models because yeah. they were they'll see it, right it as now, selling models. If they were putting content up right now, mm. do you think they would have put, I don't know, Admech versus World Eaters? Ah, oh, fucking turn one table in. Over. Yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. Skatari spam. You're Die, never everyone! <laughs> never going to see that, are you? So no. the other thing that I think is going to be interesting about Warhammer Plus, a lot of people say, oh, it's at risk to battle report channels. I'm like, but are you going to get a genuine report it's from Warhammer Plus? Yeah, that's what I mean. You're that's not, I mean. exactly yeah, no, you're that. Not. You're not going to get a genuine report. I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you, if, you're, if there's things that are filmed five times until the mm. result is the one that they want. Because mm. why would yeah. they showcase the fact that... Please, let us out the room. Do it, Tully. You <laughs> win with the new models. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, I I'd, I'd, you know what? I'd, I'd argue, and I, I said this to people, like, I think people tune into their Batrat channels is not really for the games. It's for the people who are doing it, for the personalities, because that's who they enjoy. Apart from Hellstorm. Um, doing it, Paul Micah. You know, I beat him and Elliot that day because he made the list and Elliot played. So technically I'm 2 0 at Hellstorm. Um, but yeah, I won't bring that up. Uh, but yeah. I think, no, I agree I think, with I you. Think I, think, I, think, I think in the world of YouTube and Twitch, um, um, and sort of, I, I hate the word, I hate the word, but the sort of influencer sphere that exists anyway, I, dislike I that think. Word. I hate the word, Sam. I'm I with it. you on that one. I, des- I despise it. But it's one that people recognise as a terminology that can explain people that are on things like Instagram, YouTube, um, Twitch, etc. People, and the reason why I use the, the word influencer, because what you're doing when you use that word is you're focusing on the individual that's in front, or individuals that are in front of the camera at that point. Uh, whether it's the team at Tabletop Tactics or Tabletop Titans, whether it's the individual, yourself, Winters, um, Kirioth, people mm. will come for the content. The content draws them in. Yeah. So when you do one of your traditional clickbait titles uh, and you bring someone into Dawn the channel... Dawn Returns. To, 
but, but they'll come. They'll, they'll, they'll come because of the title and the content. That's why they'll find you normally and the mm. algorithm. But normally because of the content, they'll search um, Imperial Primark returns for the seventeenth time this year, and then they'll find your channel. But they'll stay because they like the content you're producing, mm. and they'll start to build a connection with that with that influencer. Yeah. I hate the word, but that that personality. I'd, you know what? I'd agree with you, except that doesn't explain why anybody subs to your channel, Liam. So, yeah, it's got to be some bots. Else. The, I think um, it's so, just bots. I think he pays a lot yeah, of money to of these Chinese bot does. firms. Yeah, people, and then it's people, like, yeah. people sub to my channel because for some fucking bizarre reason, people like Winters and Sam tell them to. And that's it. And they do it, and I, they're like, "What have I done? Yeah, why am I yeah. doing this?" Winter's then it's just pity. It. Then it's just pity. <laughs> that I stay there for. Yeah. Someone told me they went on Wish and they ordered Valrak and they got a Liam Dempsey sub instead <laughs> because that, that's basically what it is. He's just a Wish version of me. <laughs> Not very nice, Sam. Is Minus it? the rumors. He doesn't ever come back for it though because he knows no. it's true. So there we go. It's true. But I can't. I can't with my lowly thirteen thousand subs compared to your what one hundred and forty now. He stole my setup and Mikey's name. Trust me, it's been noted. That's it. It's been noted. Yeah, well, it has been noted. That's what companies do. Companies go out there and they look at what currently exists but is a bit shit, and then they take that idea and just make it better. That's why I'm going to announce today on this. I've got an exclusive for you that I'm actually signing for Warhammer Plus Vox with Valrak is moving over to Warhammer Plus. They've, they've given me a million pound <laughs> and they've, promi- they've promised me Rogel Dawn's coming back. So they haven't given you a million pound. You could, you could buy Manchester. That's yeah, so I could. <laughs> I, I'm the king here now. I'm the king of the north. We have. One thing we can say, one thing we can talk about is Do that we? on the 21st of next month at Vanguard Tactics uh, HQ on my YouTube channel, Sam is bringing... The Sons of Dawn to get yeah. beaten live on stream. Nice. You're bringing a meta list because I'll have to bring a meta list. So, like, I was just going to bring a fun list of a couple. Like... I'm not bringing a meta. How am I bringing a meta list? All right, you I just, showed you the list. You said you said Scarbrand was in your list and like fucking four demon princes or something. And I was like, wait, what? Wait, they thought this was going to be fun. It is. What's going fun. on here? For me? <laughs> um, so, but you, how many, but you're mildly concerned that you've not played much 40k at all, right? I the last time I played was at Mikey's 11 months ago. I haven't played oh, it since. Oh wow! Then. So basically, okay. I'm just going to be saying, "Can I do this?" The entire stream, Stephen. Can I do this? Can I go here? And everyone's going to be like, "I'm leaving this stream." To be honest with you, mate, anything that makes you look like a fucking idiot, I'm up for. So if that's what it takes. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's, it. that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm down for it. it. Playing Imperial Fists is like the number one thing that makes someone like an idiot, isn't it? So. How dare you? I won Undefeated. <laughs> 47 minutes. It took 47 minutes before Chris brought it up. <laughs> Imagine you waking me. up and playing Iron Warriors. My God. <laughs> Losers. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to get baited into this because everyone... Pertrabo knows. even failed at being a traitor. That's how bad he is. Uh, he's, just, he's, just, he's just a loser. Yeah, but at the end of the day, they don't have bright yellow armour. So fuck it. That's that's just going to be my comeback for this. We're only yellow because we're so good, and we have to give the enemy a chance, like a head start. So that's 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 why we do it. That's you know. All right, we'll give you a head start. I've to been see where we are. Listen, I've been. I I can't even look upon Imperial Fist now, after one of our our own Quipster has was revealed to have been cheating on Instagram with his Imperial yep. Fist by upping the color and contrast. Oh. On their paint, so that everyone thought it was painting this beautiful yellow, and it was all oh, nice. Quipster, Quipster. Have you not heard this, Sam? Have you no, not heard this news? This is this is like big drama for me. Yeah. This is <gasps> big. So Alex is Alex admitted on this very podcast, on this podcast that when when he paints models and posts them to Instagram, he'll take a picture of it in front of natural light on purpose, and then before he posts it, he boosts the saturation, he boosts the contrast, he brings the shadows down, he brings the highlights up. So what you see. What you see on Instagram isn't, in fact, true. It's not a true reflection of what he's he can't actually paint painted. Yellow like that, yeah. He can't right. paint that yellow. I mean, I'm... his imperial fists are probably fucking green. To be honest with you, yeah. I say I'm going to revoke his Son of Dawn pass. He's no longer allowed to play Sons of Dawn. That's Ooh, it. spicy! Can't be doing that. <laughs> said doing that. Said That's by the no, please don't, himself. Because then he'll just play <laughs> custodies all the time. <laughs> At least we had a tiny break from from his custodies. But yeah, anyway. Oh, I'm... that. that... That same custodian that he's posted sixty four times yeah. to Instagram. <laughs> you can Fuck talk though. Loser. We're get we're getting like a, a a millimeter by millimeter update of that one space marine that you're painting. 
It's like no, no, up. that's that's about to change now to Gaz. To Gaz yeah, Girl. I was going to say you oh, got yeah, Gaz yeah. Girl to do now. Yeah. <laughs> I almost pay, I almost posted a picture earlier of of him black because I've now sprayed him black because yeah. I actually wasn't I wasn't going to paint him uh, I was, I just built him because I wanted I, I wanted I sat here I, I couldn't be bothered to paint the space readers were sat in front of me I was like I can't be bothered to get my paints out I want to do some hobby though Gaz is on the shelf there was orc hype all weekend because of beast snaggers I was like I bought him ma- ages ago I'll just build Gaz so I built Gaz. And if you don't know DZTV audience, or, or if this is going out, iTunes or Spotify audience, I am not the world's biggest Orc fan. I never really have been. And I thought, I'll do something a bit cringe, but a bit funny. I'll challenge the community to get to some numbers on this post. And if they achieve it, I'll say I'm going to paint Gaz. And I genuinely, genuinely believed that I'd put them just out of reach so it wasn't going to happen. Pop and then cringer. fucking yeah. wankers like this bloke got hold of it and shared it on Instagram and then it just exploded and I was like, ah, oh. so now I have to, I've said I'm going to do it, I've got to do it, I can't not do it, now I've said I'm going to do it, because that would be it's bad. one of those things, oh no, I've got all these new followers, what am I going to do? Oh, That's exactly no. what it was like. Yeah. Oh, it was only a joke, I didn't really want yeah. All the really new it. followers. Everyone on follow me. No, Come no, it, it would it would have been absolutely perfect if it had got mm. to like two thousand uh, nine hundred ninety nine followers, not three thousand. I'd have been happy. I'd have been alright with that. Like, yeah. yeah, perfect. It's worked exactly as I wanted. It's boosted my numbers up by a couple of hundreds. That's perfect. Now I've actually got to paint him. You see, I did mine on the same day. I said if I get a hundred thousand, I'll paint a hundred rubrics in a row, whilst crying, and yeah, um, naked, naked. Yeah. And I, d- I didn't get 100,000. No, I'm good. I it's to see weird. That. Do, do, do yeah, it, it's probably because most of your pictures are now in Warriors and no one cares. That's why. Oh! That's probably why. But if you, you know, I know you don't, you haven't seen my Instagram before because, you know, you're too special and everything. But Who are you? <laughs> I barely got any Iron Warriors on there. What's his name again? Chaplin Sorry, Van Drake, or whatever your name is. <laughs> Mate, I've, how, how many followers have I got? I don't even know. I just lose track now. It's, it's not even a thing. I don't, I don't track followers anymore. Oh, uh, for fuck's I'm sake. I'm that big. <laughs> right, in that case then, Chris, if this is the way he's going to behave right now, then I think it's time to try and bring him down a peg or two. Bring me yeah, down. So, I, get, um, I get it every night in my stream. Come, I, think, I get abused. I think, I, think we've, I think we've kind of covered the topic. We, I mean, it's traditional ECP. We talked about a topic. We never yeah. came to a conclusion. We're moving on to the next stage. Um, so this is, the, I think, everyone's favourite part of the ECP, everyone's favourite part of the show. We're now going to move on to the Q&A session live, uh, not live, sorry, uh, from the, dis, uh, the DCTV Discord. Yeah, yeah. And Chris, you've been pinning, pinning comments all day, pinning posts all day for people to ask questions. And they specifically knew that we were going to bring Chump to Master Vandrak in tonight. Yeah. So, um, did you want to start hitting us with some questions? Yeah, I'll just start throwing some questions out there. Um, before, so the other day, I said on um, on my little WhatsApp group of uh, Warhammer peeps, I was like, "Oh yeah, we're getting uh, that. Uh, what's his name? Van Chaplin, Van Dark, whatever his name is. We're getting him on soon." And <laughs> surprisingly, there was some, there was some, there was a lot of people that were like, "Yeah, he knows, he knows who he is. He's comfortable with who he is," you know. He's a bit of a clickbait king, but, you know, they were really nice about it. So we've got to make sure that this isn't <clears> nice, <throat> because that's just yeah, not what the ECP is about. Give it me. I uh, clickbait just by putting who's Valrak on every single poll that I put up. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, yeah. Um, this what does it start to, doing is now? Living rent free. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, I just had to, this is from Pickle Nick, right? And this wasn't even um, today. He just he just sent a quote. He said, "My daughter just shit in the bath." Who at DTTV <laughs> is most likely to do the same? <laughs> and I just the reason why I ask that is because it's definitely uh, Mr. AP Burn. It's definitely Andy, Andy Burn. Yeah, of course yeah. it's Andy Burn. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly slip bath. that one in. He definitely shit in the bath. Yeah, he probably <laughs> has tonight. Right, Ginger Steve. Who's an oh, here we go. Wait, Ginger wait, Steve. right, uh, right. Can I just say I've met Ginger Steve and he looks like Noel Edmonds. <laughs> so he can't say anything. He's literally no allowed. I was waiting for Mr. Blobber to come out of the bush and ambush me like when I met him. Sam's, Sam's so, getting the defensive so, before Ginger Steve even starts. Yeah. So, I'm, so I'm just saying, no matter what he says, he looks like Noel Evans. And Ginger Steve is an absolute Ginger legend. Steve. He is. And he's although a starting patron, like... so thank you so much. So although you look like yeah. Noel Evans, your question is, sir. Ginger Steve, mm. if Valrak had to decide between being an Iron Warrior and having big enough balls that he could grow a beard like Liam, or being a <laughs> facial hairless 12-year-old son of Dawn, as he is now, what would he choose? Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Also, okay, I'll, yeah, carry on, I'll finish this, this is, in a minute. 
This is beautiful, right? This is beautiful here, right? I don't, I, I don't need to be hairy. I like looking young, and that's that's okay. <laughs> I'm a young guy. People go, "Are you 19?" I go, "No, mate. I'm in my thirties." They go, "Wow, you're amazing." That's it. Just no beard. That's what it gives you. What What's gives the rest you. of Steve's comment, Chris? <laughs> go on. Get uh, also, if he had Liam's big balls, why would he want a shaving sponsorship deal so they could be bald? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a weird one. Yeah, he's weird. All yeah. right, Ginger Steve, cheers for that. Um, Thank love you, Steve. Love you, Steve. Yeah. Uh, this fucking guy again. J- J-H-N-L-K. Um, John Luke. John Luke, Chris. It's not hard. J- it's it's John not Luke. John Luke, though, because there's no fucking vowels. I say it every time he comes up. If it was John Luke, there'd be vowels in there. It's J-H-N-L-K. That's not John Luke. <laughs> fucking Picard, go on. Anyway, <laughs> would, you, would you rather only drink baked beans juice or have to fill your socks with baked beans before putting them on so you can only drink baked bean juice or you have to always fill your socks up with baked beans <laughs> this is this is what that's happens a, that's quite a hard choice yeah. I thought these are Warhammer questions what the fuck is no, going on no, Discord? No. And they can ask anything they want anything yeah. they want um, I would drink the juice because I don't like wet feet that's, but that's you can crazy. only ever drink baked bean juice so if you oh, want like to be able the rest to drink, of my life yeah if you want yeah. to drink something else you've got to have but I'd probably die from sucks. just drinking juice, so I'd probably have to go with the wet, the wet feet. And <laughs> at, least I, at least I'll live. Yeah, at least I'll live. Can I can I go bean socks and drink baked bean juice? That'd be cool. Yeah, you fucking cretin. That's disgusting. <laughs> um, right. Okay. This is a boring. Cause this is boring because it's a real question from Johnny the oh. Mick. Go on, uh, Johnny. And I'm assuming this is for for Van Van Card or whatever his name is because it it's about imperial. Just call me a hundred k. Just call me hundred k. Hundred forty. Hundred forty. Right. Uh, right. Hang, hang on. Right. Hang on. Just oh no! Oh, he's exactly. gonna get his fucking button. This oh, is a flex. For fuck's sake! I like, do you like how he's wheeled himself away like that? Because like, he's got no pants on, so he's got to be careful what he doesn't <laughs> doesn't show us. Right. He I'm wasn't gonna... actually joking. That's why he couldn't stand up. I'm just gonna put this here, like, <laughs> like, like, like when we do this from now on. You see this? Jump see to says? Master Vandrak. See what it says. But we've got the we've got the people's hearts. That's that. That's worth I'd rather, more I'd than rather have, I'd rather have the button to be honest yeah, with Chris. Yeah, fucking me too. All right, Johnny the Mick. What attracted you originally to Imperial Fists over other SM chapters when you were picking an army to build? Ooh, that's a proper question. Um, yeah. I like castles. Is that my? Does that count? <laughs> Pretty simple. Sounds good to me. It's like that's a nice wall. Fucking awesome. Wait, this this Legion makes walls. I like a good wall. That's it. Done. Sword. There you go. That's so, it. Okay. You like castles. I like castles. No, that, I mean, that's that's as, as good an answer as any. Mm. It's better than I like yellow, isn't it? So. Mm. Oh, much better, yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's from some guy called Winters. Do we know? He's He's got a red name. What is that? What kind of Patreon subscriber is a red name? He's a bell end. Only knobs in that mm-hmm. Discord have got red oh, names. Oh, only knobs. Mm. All right. Winters says, which is better at 40k, Valrak or a moist flip-flop? <laughs> It's probably a moist flip flop. It's probably had more game practice than me. I'll, 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 yeah, I remember to say it's probably but a moist, moist flip flop. Probably also isn't undefeated, so you know. Mm, it's true. Mm. Has, has the moist flip flop got its own trophy? I don't think it has. No, but it probably Ooh. smells nicer. Probably Ooh. does. I don't wash. <laughs> uh, dactyl, which is uh, yeah, dactyl, says okay. if Valrak had singing nipples. Which song would they sing? Now, maybe we'd answer that one. Or, I, I don't know. You, you can answer it. Well, if your nipples could sing, what would they sing? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think he's ready for this shit. I don't think he's ready at all. I told him that they were random questions. Yeah. I have literally no... I don't know. Like, uh... Drake? I think they would sing Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall. Oh, Could I see, because that's almost Imperial Fist themed as well. Mm. You like it? There we go. Mm. Wow. Mm. He said Relevant. something almost intelligent. Nice. Mm. Um, anyway, Dactyl, yeah, I would probably have gone with um, Linkin Park uh, crawling in my skin. I just <laughs> think that's probably what nipples would sing, wouldn't they? Maybe, um, yeah. Black Cap. Oh, okay. This this one, we'll, we'll throw this one to Vanguard. If Dawn fell, fell, he actually says feel, which is why I wrote like that. If Dawn, if Dawn fell, fell so to chaos, that's a lie. what god would he have followed? You get to pick um, this one. He wouldn't have fallen. 
There we go. Fuck off. Oh, whatever the guy's name was. But if he did, Sam. Their honor. If he if did, he did Sam. No, I'm not getting into this. No, how dare you? If he did. I'll, I'll walk off. Um, no, I don't no. know. I think he'd be Chaos Undivided. So, so the Iron Warriors. Iron so Iron Warriors. It is. It's the most boring option. It is. Yeah. So he'd be Iron Warriors. He wouldn't have gone to Nurgle or Kurgan. No, so, so, no. He'd, so he'd be Iron Warriors. He wouldn't be Iron Warriors at all. Well, they're you see, divided, you see this, this, this is why I don't answer the questions, because it's bait. You're trying to trip me up at every single step. I'm not having it. Tomorrow's video on Liam Dempsey's YouTube mm. confirmed. <laughs> Dawn, Dawn turns to Nurgle. <laughs> Iron Warriors were the original um, choice Losers. for Papa Nurgle. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I'm called um, Blight Lord Chris right now, anyway, because I've, I've just been working on a massive death guard army and now i'm working on these these guys so chris you know is what? basically meta chasing because the iron warriors and his triple vindicators hasn't been doing him too well that's lately. weird isn't it <laughs> fuck iron what, warriors should we do what's it called skataris spam that's what you need to do actually yeah. it's been no i think they're fixing it tomorrow, tomorrow aren't they yeah they're yeah fixing it's it. gonna be fucked so everyone who went out and bought them all <laughs> Ha! Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't chase the dragons. Don't yeah. chase. Come on, come on, catch me. Come on now, you're nearly there. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do it. Don't. Rue, who's in the starties? Thanks, Rue, for being in the starties. Rue. That's kind. Legend. Nice. Um, why can Dawn's sons only hide behind walls whilst custodies and white scars carry the fight to the enemy? <laughs> That's. <laughs> Because we like it's a, a nice position. Question. It we is like a, a fair good position. We like we like because we're we're high born. That's why and we like being high. That's it. We like a nice, like a nice high. high. Yeah, yeah. You like getting it. high. Okay. That's it. We like walls. <laughs> like, uh, like a brick. This is. Uh, we need. We need to. We need to. We need to spice these up. Um, well, it's your fucking job, Chris. I don't know no, why you're asking me to spice them up. No, because. I didn't realise that he'd be such so cowardly and, and defensive of his of the these yellow space marines. Jeez. I'm just saying that I had a better time on Mikey's stream than this stream. I'm just saying ah! this is this is I'll put it out there right now. That's because it's easier for you to be the bigger character on that one, that's why. <laughs> <No. laughs> Poor Micah. He's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> oh, menial task boy. Okay. Uh, you're a travelling salesman in the 41st millennium offering a new flavour of corpse starch. What's your sales pitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. These questions are so random. Uh, I the em- the, the emperor you. demands this, and then, you know, if you don't buy it, then literally you're a heretic. So, we have to buy it, or... I so, you, you take the game's virtual approach? Yeah, you basically <laughs> yeah. join us. Yeah. Join us, or you die. Fucking basically. eat this, or you're dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking nice just take the starch. That's it. Um, I mean, how would you sell it, Chris? How would you sell it? How would I sell corp starch? Yeah, uh, a new flavour of corp starch. I'd, um, I mean, when faced with that question, it's quite difficult to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so you throw it at me, and I'm, I'm bang bang. Uh, banana flavour? Why not? Because fuck it. When was the last time someone in the forty first millennium had a banana? Probably never. Yeah. So say it's banana. So how could you sell it then? Because I want to know what it tastes like. Yeah, well, it'd be like this tastes like banana, which is an exotic fruit that you've never tried. You might hate it. I don't like. They'd be like, stuff. They'd be like what's a fruit? Pitch. Great what's a fruit? Pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a pitch, fruit? Yeah. <laughs> um, moving swiftly on to lems. This is just as weird. I'm sorry. This is just as fucking weird. If you were forced to marinate a steak in any citadel paint and then eat it, which would it be? <laughs> It'll have to be Avgrax. It'll have to be Avgrax. Easily. Yeah, Avgrax, yeah. At least Avgrax makes it everything that, better. It would make that. It would mm. give it that cooked meat look as well. So, mm. but the thing is, Avgrax is. I, th- I feel like most people go. Yeah, I know what that tastes like. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be for spice it off a fucking yeah. brush. Mm. But I mean, is Agrax a paint? It's a wash. We'll he said paint. paint. Nah, it's in the oh, we're not getting to this, are we? It's yeah, all a paint. Yeah. It's in a bottle. Yeah. That's Yours it. would be Caraberg Crimson, Liam. Mm. Why? Just because it would look raw. I mean, I, I just feel like you're the kind of person that would um, show off to their friends by saying, look, I have mine, like, extra rare, and then eat it. I do have mine extra rare. I do yeah, actually yeah. have that. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's facts. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have mine null okay. oil because I like everything char grilled so that I can't see Medi- that it was. Medium well, I'm defined. Medium well's all right, yeah. Medium, medium well. well. Why have I just gone orange? Hang on. I, I'm turning to doll. Chapter <laughs> <laughs> uh, Master Dickinson. Go on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Have we got any more? Let's. I think I. Okay, we got. I was skipping all the sensible ones. Maybe I should have read them out instead. Um, 
This is I, I, <laughs> I hate doing this because it's fucking Ergon John again. We've done loads of his questions as well, but then we do John Luke every week as well. Um, right, this one's an interesting. This is a real question, right? Okay, as a community, as a community, community, yeah. as a community, yeah. community, how do we Up support north. each other through Up these north. tough times when the army you love is top of the meta? He's not. He's he's a fucking uh, West Country boy anyway. So basically, he's saying when when your army is like top of the meta, OP, cheesemongering, or all of the above, and you become public enemy number one, and the the reason why he's saying this is is because I believe he had. He's got two armies recently, right? He's yeah. worked on two armies. His first army was Drukari just before the Drukari Codex came out, right? And then everybody, like, there was the dark technomancy, technomancers and all that stuff, and he, he couldn't play that. Everyone called him a cheesemonger, and he got into a lot of online fights, as I recall. And then his second army was Admech before the Admech Codex came out. <laughs> and everyone's like, fuck you, Admech. How so I'm going to think... support Ergon John is I'm going to watch what army he starts collecting next, and I'm just going to fucking buy exactly. that one. Exactly. That's how I'm going to yeah. it. No, that's it. He knows. He, he know, he's got mm. some inside information that not even yeah. we have, Liam. He's fucking he leaking for not me. Um, <laughs> I'd say just, just laugh at people. That's what I'd do. Like, yeah. I remember when it happened with the Imperial Fists, everyone was like, ah. Oh, Look at you! I'm like, yeah, fucking look at me. If you don't like it, piss off. Unless That's you're it. Chaos Space Marines, every army has their time in the sun. They do. Much. <laughs> it That's all it. loops around. Oh, it lasts for, it lasts like two weeks until the FAQ comes out. Anyway, so yeah. just, just enjoy it. I mean, I think that. I mean, that, that's an important point, though. To be quite honest with you, because Games Workshop are pretty. Um, reactive now to when we have these turbo. I mean, to be honest with you, shouldn't fucking come out in the first place. Yep. But, and I say that as a member of the playtesting team, shouldn't come out in the first place. When certain so it's people your are saying, fault. Okay. When certain people are saying to Games Workshop, that shouldn't go out like that, and they go, well, fucking tough, it's gone to print, they've only <laughs> got themselves to blame. They've only got themselves to blame at that point. However, when they do come out and they are broken, what we do know is they are going to invalidate your book in two or three weeks' time with a load of printed pages that you'll then need as well to play your army. Yep. So don't panic too much, because it will only be a short period of time, John. And we're all behind you. We're all behind you, John. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. not. You deserve it. <laughs> I'm, be- I'm, I'm behind you, John. Sixty-six percent of the podcast immediately. <laughs> back on that. Uh, I've got to read some of this. Right, there's there's this guy um, uh, called Cosas, who's a, Cosas? a guard guard person. Cosas, Cosas always puts in tons and tons of things, and um, there's a lot here. Isn't there? I can see it now. There's a lot. Yeah, in here. there's a lot in here. But right at the end, there, Cosas threw in a load of stuff. I'm just going to read all of them and. You can pick and choose if you want to answer any of it. But I just okay. think this is a fantastic selection of things. So it starts with, which Disney protagonist and or villain would make the crossover to 40k and why? Jafar. And then... I was going to say Jafar. What a bastard. Um, what, it's like a wizard, do you think? It's like, like a chaos like, god. Yeah, well, I'd say uh, just, a, just a heretic, yeah. Just a psycho. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Jafar, he, okay, cool. Would he have Ia- Iago as well? As like a familiar. Iago yes. was the parrot, wasn't it? That'd be like yeah. a little joker reel, like on his shoulder, going yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And now what Cosmos has got to do now is he's got to go away and kit bash himself for Jafar and post it yep. in Discord. Yep. Uh, the education system teaches us that drug dealers offer free samples to get us hooked. Why haven't they issued the same warning for plastic <laughs> crack? Especially as it's much more expensive. Well, they do. Probably worse for your health as well. They, they do, do, don't they? They do give they you do. a little free you, you get a, You get a one free model, don't you? You know, yeah. try it before you buy. Yeah. 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 Improved. Yeah. Bastards. It then, oh. I mean, so that had, some, that had some sense. And then the next bit is, would you rather eat a llama that chats to you while you eat it? Or eat the reproductive system of your boss slash employer. Like, what the fuck? I think I'll go with the llama. You know. yeah, but it, it's just llama. talking to you while you're eating. I mean, it doesn't say what it's saying. I mean, it's not doesn't mean it's, it's necessarily going, oh, please don't. Uh, what I need me. clarification on, Chris, what I need clarification on is what he means by eat the reproductive system of your boss or employer. Do you mean I'm going to nosh him off? Well, exactly. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's leaving it open to, to like, whoever your boss or employer is, whether they're a male or a female or what, if it's just, whatever. If it's just a little barbecued grilled penis, I'll eat that. That's easy. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got the awkward eye contact with the llama then. However, if it is noshing off my line manager, I'm not so keen that I'd probably go for the llama. So I need that clarification, I think it's eat, Chris, but it really does say... Decision. 
it says reproductive system, which would assume that it's all the pipes and tubes and shit evolved in reproduction, which goes a lot deeper. You know what I mean? There's all these wires and shit that you got to... How deep does it go? How deep does it go? Not very. Uh, not very. Funnily enough, I answered shit, man. These are deep to that. So, yeah. I was already had that you've in my missed, mind. You've missed the bottom question, Chris. Oh, sh- yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, which is better, koalas or penguins? Uh, I'd say penguins. Koalas are right. vicious little cunts. That's why they're better. I'd pick a koala. No, they're right, vicious little bastards. With, oh, with a penguin, you could kick it and it'll just like go. But a koala, will fucking go for you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> how many penguins have you kicked in your time? I don't know, but I'd like to kick one. And just to see how far I could get it. Sam's only picking penguins because they wouldn't be able to break down his castle as they just bump up against the walls. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. a koala that's climb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> isn't like the drop the the alleged drop bear is kind of the a drop bear. Australia's called the drop bears. Yeah, They're drop, drop bears. bears. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as a good heretic, this is sorry. This is Frank W. Thanks, Frank W. Who's a um, a guardsman tier uh, legend. Thank you, patron. As a good heretic, rank in oh. order of preference: kill, maim, burn. I mean, <laughs> what to do or to be done to? I mean, I guess. As a good heretic, it would be to to do. Um, what to someone, or do you want it on yourself? To someone, yeah, to someone. I think you 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 just rank what's more important to to you as a heretic to kill people, maim them, or burn them. Um, well, if I was a heretic, I'd be a world eater. So you probably just want to kill them, don't you? To take the yeah. skull. So that'd be just it'd be easy to like, right, just kill them right away. I don't care about yeah, yeah. torturing them. I'm not a word bearer. Did you oh, see as well, um, Chris, that Cosas also wrote a song for the ECP? Yeah, yeah, I did see that, and I, I was going to get to that one. It's an interesting it's, one, isn't it? It's not I spoiling mean, it. It's, I mean, it's, it's a it's song. It's genius. It does remind me of another song, which <laughs> it's clearly based it. on. Um, <laughs> I mean, it goes, Are you ready, kids? And then someone has to say, Aye, aye, Liam. I can't hear you. Hi, Liam. <laughs> oh, who lives in a pineapple <laughs> under the sea? Yes, it's Valrak. Absorbing, <laughs> absorbing in the other one, poor the sea. Yes, it's Valrak. If imperial nonsense be something you wish, yes, it's Valrak. <laughs> then drop on your paint desk and flop like a fish. And then it's lots of <laughs> yes, it's Valrax after that. That wins. Which, that that wins all of that comment section. We yeah, need this. Absolutely. We need this fully recorded now, like yeah. fully, full, fully done. Someone album do version. the yeah album version. Someone do the Coz's song. And there are people out there with all kinds of abilities and skills. And I will stuff. put it as the intro to all my videos if it sounds really, really good. There we go. There, there we go. go. You heard it here. Um, what? Okay, so okay, but BM, BMO, 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 yeah, who's a guardsman wants to know, and someone else did as well. I'll find out who the original person is. Someone wants to know if you use any yellow contrast on your yellow boys. No, I Just, use glaze. I use Lamenter's glaze. Look at this, right? He's got so much Lamenter's glaze as well. This is horrendous, Chris. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, you can you can tell he's doing well because that's like four hundred grand a bottle, isn't it? At the moment, <laughs> fucking stuff. The, the, the fun got... thing is, the fun thing is, like I got a I got I got a leak. Like, oh, they're getting rid of glazes to bring this new paint out. I didn't know it was contrast at the time, so I went round to every local hobby store and went, "I will take your entire stock." And I told people buy the glaze now. They were like, "Fuck off!" They're not going to get rid of glazes. Then they got rid of glazes, and then everyone called me a cunt because I bought them all. But I said, "Listen." <laughs> I I was prepared, and it's not my fault you weren't, so uh, suffer. I've got a really? half a bottle of it, and if I sell it, I can put a deposit down in the house. So yeah. I'm just keeping it as an investment right now. Mm-hmm. It's like Bitcoin. It's amazing. It is. We, did, we have been asked why didn't the Emperor trust Dawn to be anything more than his doorman. There were a few about. of these. He trusted, yeah. he trusted, trusted Dawn. More why than didn't Pimp Daddy E trust Dawn to be anything more than his toilet paper holder? See what I mean? They're just jealous. Why does Dawn have a brown nose? Jealouser, go on. There's more. Of why that. can Why can Dawn's sons only hide behind walls whilst custodians and scars mm-hmm. carry the fight to enemy? Chris has already asked yeah. that one. I mm-hmm. think. Will uh, Valrak have a spontaneous special moment on stream if Black Templar models are revealed? I I, I did like with, with the trailer. Like we we were, we lost our shit. Like on the reveal, that was really really good. 
Um, but, when, but when they show it, it's, it's got to be exciting. Tune in for the watch along. Subscribe to my channel. Become a member. <laughs> There it is. That's a shameless. I mean, he waited an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah. So that's a shameless plug right there. I'm happy with that. Don't worry, mate. No one watches us anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> uh, winters. Are get- Look, we got loads of wi- winters. Says which is better at opening a door, Valrak or a dead parrot? He says, how many light bulbs does it take to change a Valrak? It's he's just gone all in. It's yeah. If you've got a rebuttal for a collective rebuttal for winters, go for it now because. He's yeah. a southerner wearing a Yorkshireman's Yorkshireman's hat. You can't say anything. Oh. That's what. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, Chris, I feel like you've missed the most important question from John Luke as well. Who's Picard? John Luke? Sorry, never heard of the. Never heard of that person. Would you rather use butter for soap or soap for butter? A butter for soap. <laughs> or soap that's a great for question. Butter. I don't know. I missed that. Sorry, J N J N L. Okay. Um, I'd, I don't know. Butter for soap? I think I'd have to use butter for soap. Oh, I don't know. This is a hard one. You've got to use butter I'll... for soap because butter's fucking awesome, right? Everyone agrees that butter's delicious. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be eating soap on your bread. Like, no. that's going to ruin could... every sandwich, could... every jacket potato, so, everything. Like a true heretic, I'm going to suggest that you could choose use soap for butter, but then just use margarine instead, and then you're fine. But that means using margarine instead of butter. See, that's fuck. a loophole. That's yeah. a loophole. Yeah, but always it's not though. Sam- mm-hmm. Always margarine, thinking. margarine. It's devil's food. That's some like Eldar shit. You know what I mean? That's some boring Eldar shit. Get get that out of here. No one eats fucking margarine. It's I was talking to Lean before. I was talking to Lean before about a loophole I'm doing with my animation because I've got an animation coming out. So what, what I'm going to do is react to it. So that means GW can't take it down because Sam, it's Sam. It's, it's paying it's for people to make an animation around Imperial Fists. And I've yeah. seen some of the renderings of some of the parts of it. It looks like it's going to be really cool. It is going to be really cool. And, but you have to pay someone to do it because no one's going to do it crazy. Well, I can't draw. Workshop, I've got no hands. See it, if Games Workshop see it and you've seen the, I think it's the Hammer and Bolt animations, they are going to fucking flip. They're going to flip. <laughs> but I'm going to be in the corner going, wow, this is amazing. And then that way they can't take me down. Because that is, that is, what's it called? I forgot what it's called now. But it's that. Yeast. That's the it's, thing, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know about this. So what's the, this is actually happening. You've actually got people doing a... Ha, where do I... Is there something to watch yet? Or is Not it yet. Like secret? Yeah, okay. well, there is, but you can't see it because it's all hush-hush. Oh. Hush. All right. All hush-hush. Don't tell you. Well, I know all the other secrets, so... Yeah. I'm going to get loads of emails now sent to that GW Snitch account. Valax <laughs> make an animation! Valax already, make an animation! It, I've already sent it. <laughs> Take him down! <laughs> I said it the second you said DTZV. The second you said that, I said it. That was, I, just, I had it pre-written and just hit fucking send. I just want to say on this subject, if you're one of these people that email GWs and email, you're an absolute cunt. That's all I have to say. That's, I, that's, all, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. That is some... Uh, I mean, I mean wait, I want Rude. to see... Liam had a face then. I wanted to know which way he's going with that face. Cause well, he's getting I, free products. He's getting free products from GW, so he, GW true. own him. So, so he, he has to agree think, with them. I mean, I know for a fact that the answer to this next statement is no, I don't. But if you've ever watched any of the reveal, not reveal, sorry, the reviews that I've done, Sam, on the channel, you realise that I am not he always is positive. Salty on what they bitch. Send me. He is. Do a you have a channel? Salty bitch. So I, I'll be honest with you. No, sorry. What's your channel called? Do you have a channel? Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> so I, I have... when I, Actually, typically, when I get codexes, most of the time I've been quite positive about codexes because yeah. most of them are quite good. Um, the Warzone Charidon stuff specifically, uh, if we're looking oh. recently, and the Kill Team oh. box, I've been really fucking negative about it. I hate the really Warzone negative. stuff. It, it, it's EA Day 1 DLC. I've yes. said that from the start. That's all it is. It's like selling the products and saying, hey, look at this little extra bit. You have to pay money. It's like, why? Mm-hmm. Fuck off. I hate that yeah. so much. Do you know if Obvious you want access? Models. If you now want access to all, uh, I'm, and I, I'm conscious I'm saying it, this is going out on Friday. If you now want access to all the Admec rules, you need to buy the Admec Codex. If you want, if you want access to all of their rules, you need to buy the Admec Codex, mm. buy both Warzone Charidon books, and download the FAQ. Do you remember when they said the the new editions were going to be like one book f- for everything? Like the yeah, like I remember eighth edition at the start. They said, "Yeah, it's, we're going to put everything like one or two books. That's it." I was playing Imperial Fist at the end of eighth edition. I had seven books 
to play Imperial Fist. And I was like, what the fuck is it's going on? It's not worth on? it, is it? Just like white quit. dwarfs and everything. Mm. Just, quit. Yeah. Just quit. It's not worth it. Liam so there, so loves a is... bit of a, of, a, of a book bloat chat, don't you, Liam? <laughs> Let's get on to it. Let's get on to the book bloat no, chat. No, I've got Indian coming soon. Oh, yeah, um, okay. yeah. Love Island's on as well. Cool. Not a hooker. I mean a takeaway. <laughs> I... I um, Fucking love! It. I can't. That is the shock. That's the biggest, most shocking reveal I think we've Listen, ever mate, had. On any if you if you ever watch Castle and Moore, you'll understand. Tragic fucker watching <laughs> Love Island. I, I I can't. I we. I mean, I I feel like over the last few months, as well as the the on screen banter, Sam and I have started to become friends, build a relationship. When I found out, I was like. <laughs> That's not what you told me earlier, but anyway, yeah. I don't care if I can. I don't care if I can go onto his stream and try skimming his subs. I don't care about that now. He watches fucking Love Island. Tragic. No, nothing wrong with it. Listen, listen. We all we all have our guilty pleasures. But in terms pleasure. of book bloat, Chris, you are one hundred percent right. I can't. I can't stand it. I've I've spoke about this loads. Warzone Charidon's a dick move, and I have been told that internally we've talked earlier about Games Workshop and their silos. Internally, the rules writers team said we're not. We should be putting rules for, for example, Admech in a Charidon book that's come out or Charidon book that's come out at the same time. Yeah. And senior management said we fucking are. Get on with yeah. it. Because money, 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 baby. It's because they fixed their reputation, and now they're like, now we fixed our rep. Well, they did a while ago. All this money we've made, let's make more money. How money? Fucking milk them. So, uh, but I say that that hasn't. uh, I mean, I'm conscious as a playtester that hasn't come direct from Games Workshop. I haven't been told that. I've been told that by someone who spoke to someone. So it's as useful and as fucking solid as Valrax content. There we go. Um, It's not. (laughs) It's not definite. I don't want people to think that it's coming out of Games Workshop directly. That's happened, but I have been told that that was the case. Um, If that is the case, it's tragic, really, that that's that people that that those sorts of people that are driving those sorts of decisions are so disconnected from what's actually happening uh, in their community, which is a shame. But community, community, yeah. Sorry, Sam. Community. Sorry, sorry. I forgive you. You, You're (laughs) sovereign. So have we got any more questions, Chris? Because I'm fucking bored of this cunt now, to be honest yeah, with you. No, um, I've got no, no, I've got nothing. So basically what happens in this bit is that someone has to sing a song to get us out of the, to lead us out of the episode, right? And well, if there's a guest, it's normally the guest. It's normally the guest, right? So What do I have to sing? Can I get uh, anything that would give you copyright strikes? No, no. <laughs> we've, it's our own, we've written this really clever song with really intricate lyrics. Can, Liam, can you type the... Uh, lyrics oh, into fucking the... hang on yeah, I will, you, t- you sort of tell him how it goes and I'll, yeah I'll so, so but he's gonna so the, the thing is right and every, every time we do this little song and then Liam fucks off he's gonna go is he writing it I think he is sounds like he's actually doing it you can hear his mechanical keyboard so yeah basically it, the lyrics are thank you for listening my dears to the endless cacophony podcast but you can sing it in whatever tune you want uh all right, I'm trying to think. What tone should I go with? <laughs> I want to do like Wonderwall, but I don't think I can do that. However you want, just. Uh, thank you for listening, my dears, to the Endless Cacophony podcast. Boop. All right. So is that okay. See a little that boop was... at the end. When I said beautiful. when I said the guests mm. normally sing, actually the only one who's done it so far is Quipster, and you've definitely beat Quipster with your singing yeah. there. Well, was mine shit. wasn't full of contrast, so yeah, ah! I can understand that. <laughs> Not hard, is it? He started with <laughs> "Welcome to the Endless Cacophony Podcast." Yeah, as well. <laughs> fucking idiot. But anyway, um, yeah. uh, that's that's normally the outro song. But before we do disappear, Sam, I want to say a massive thank you for yeah. coming and joining us. No problem, um, anytime. It's, it's genuinely been an absolute pleasure, um, and I apologise to everybody out there because the language on this one has been worse than normal. It's normally pretty bad. It's been much yeah. worse this time. Can I just um, say, um, I have still haven't received my payment for coming on. Um, how do I go about claiming that? If you know that. There's an quick. email address. There's okay. an email address. Oh, okay. It's um, infringements <laughs> at Games Workshop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's, that's that email I got this morning. For, shut but, you um, down. It genuinely cool. has been a pleasure. If, if you guys have listened all the way to the end, which isn't very many people, but if you have and you haven't gone and checked out uh, Chapter Master Varak on YouTube, please, please, please go check him out. Um, he's also got a Patreon account and you can join his channel and he's got a Discord and all that kind of stuff. Um, my Patreon account is not linked to my YouTube channel, Games Workshop. It is a personal Patreon account. You can't come Ooh. after me. Yeah, you can't you guys come after me. You guys should definitely go check him out and support, uh, support Chapter Master Varak on his channel as well. Um, yeah. you, like I said, videos most days streams most evenings 
Um, I often go and hang out in his streams just to fucking wind him up as well. The, the, the best moment I've ever had in my whole YouTube life so far, Chris, was I put in the, in the YouTube chat, Sam, I've WhatsApped you. And I all I'd WhatsApped him was, you're a cock. Yeah, mm. I read it. <laughs> and he read nice. out, oh, oh, Liam's WhatsApped me. And he opened it on stream and went, you're a cock. Brilliant. And that was it. I was so proud of that. Not nice. That's your best moment, is it? It's yeah. Mo- yeah, well, I haven't yeah, got many. Ever. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got many. <laughs> <laughs> Got many Kids, to, nothing. Fuck you, Chris. My best, my best memory of growing up was this one time last week where. Yeah. And anyway, the other joy, the other joyous moment was when this prick fell off a roof. So you know. Oh, I nearly oh. died. Imagine that. Imagine that. This is why he's only got fifteen thousand subscribers. He's a. Cop. I haven't. I haven't got that That's many. <laughs> oh, have you not got that many? Okay. <laughs> he only had that when I used to be on there, and then he he put his name on it, and everything, and now it's it's like I don't know. 50 whatever it is no one but, likes me anymore chris no, no one likes me anymore <laughs> anyway let's get out of here because it's getting awkward now. yeah I'm really okay all right thanks Love you all. bye 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 <laughs> see ya yeah